Listen, the Feel Good continues right here on your Feel Good Breakfast Show. And you couldn't have gotten through 2019 without seeing the name Bonang Mateba and yet another milestone achieved, launching her own MCC label. Check. check. Winning an international social media award in Prague. Check. check. And winning Africa's ultimate pop culture icon award. Check, check, check. 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 <laughs> of course, without a doubt, it was uh, Bonang's year indeed. And of course, a two-part special docu-series chronicles the media personalities 2019. It's called A Very Bonang Year. It hit SABC One screens this past Saturday. And our Mugel Lebonza turned mogul is joining us by a video call this morning to break it all down Bonang, good morning. Uh, good morning, how are you? <laughs> Fantastic, even much, much better now hearing your voice and seeing your face. Congratulations on, on the special. Uh, but 2019 was so special to you. Uh, this is incredible. Please break it down to us. Why did you decide to chronicle it in the way that you've done? Well, you know, uh, thank you so much. I'm just glad it's, you know, finally out of the way and everybody loves it and, you know, they enjoyed it. I decided, you know, for the past three years, I was um, part of a reality show. I was producing uh, Being Born on Season 1, 2, and 3. And I thought I wanted to offer something different. And I think, you know, a, a docu-series was a wonderful way of getting the content out, getting my message out very, very quickly. What I also understand now with trends is that people want to have a very short attention span. People want to watch um, something, but, you know, sort of want to get to the end as quickly as possible. And I thought I wanted to try that and uh, um, offer a two-part series. Each episode is just over 45 minutes long. And just a summation of my 2019, like you said, from BNG all the way through uh, to the Sun Med, right back to Los Angeles, Manchester, London. Um, it, it, was, it was just a wonderful way of, uh, you know, elevating the brand and also sharing my story with people at home. Oh. Getting stamps on that passport, honey. But this docuseries is a celebration and reflection on your career. And of course, everyone's career has seen some sort of impact from the ongoing COVID-19 pandemic. Take us through it. How has it affected your career, life, and maybe the plans you had for 2020? We know you were set on making a huge announcement earlier this year. Where do you stand right now? I mean, it's impacted every single person in the entertainment industry, whether you are an on-screen personality or whether you are a cameraman behind the scenes. All of us have not been able to work. If you're a DJ, you haven't been able to go to events. If you're an MC like this, like me, you haven't been able to host events. So the entire entertainment industry, all of us are sort of sitting home and wondering what we're we going to do. But I think it's a wonderful time um, for us to reflect. I have found that it's forced me to change and it's forced me to be very, very clever in how I approach my business, how I share my brand, how I share my content. And I think it's a wonderful time for young creatives. But now we're seeing a very Bonang year. How does it uh, compare to uh, a public figure, for example, or to being Bonang even? I love that question. Thank you very much for asking me that question. Uh, you know, everything else, uh, being born out was very reality. Lots of personal moments, lots of funny moments with my friends and family. Not so much so the business side of Bonang and how she gets everything done and everything completed. Uh, Bonang here is, uh, I'm, I'm a little bit more mature. I'm a, I'm a businesswoman, I'm an entrepreneur. I am, you will find a, 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 a more serious, you know, young woman. Uh, a very ambitious young woman. Public Figure, for instance, is a documentary that looks at um, uh, the psychological impacts of social media. A very Bonangia looks at how to use social media mm -hmm. as a young creative to make your brand grow. Mm -hmm. It's very inspiring, particularly going into Women's Month, you know, August. So on Saturday, you had all of Mzansi really practically glued to their TV screens watching A Very Bonangia Part 1. Uh, what insights can we all look forward to sort of taking out and pulling out of part two uh, this Saturday? Well, this Saturday, I'm very excited. We're going to Prague. We are going to a wild eight dinner with Jamal Hamsu um, at the Beverly Wilshire in Los Angeles. We are going to uh, the Sun Met in Durban. We're coming back to Joburg for a B&G luncheon. Um, my cousin, Pinky Gell, will be there. You get introduced once again a little bit more to my friend, uh, Sakile. We get to see Amory Stewart, who's another one of my friends in the United States. And of course, my big, big interview. 
at uh, the Breakfast Club with DJ Envy, Envy and Charlemagne. So it really is a trip around the world, you know. Um, our, we're getting all our passports stamped together <laughs> and we don't even have to move. <laughs> oh, printing visas, Bonang, printing those visas. But of course, Bonang is going to be providing more reflection and insight into the groundbreaking year that was 2019 for her. It really, truly was so magical. And this Saturday, in part two of the special, a very Bonang year, it's going down. It really is going down. It's happening 6 p.m. on SABC One. But of course, stay tuned here on your Feel Good Breakfast show. We've got uh, a bit more coming up with the Queen Bee later on.